Hi everyone, so here I am. I'm going over to VCA. It's been such a long time since I've been here, about three or four months after Cartier. Just, um, I think I have to wait in line by the way. So I love the mother of pearl pieces they have actually. They are also lustrous and definitely brings a glow to your face. I mean, if you're getting earrings. Um, so yeah, here I am again inside a VCA. It's been quite a while. Um, still the lovely, elegant, quiet and comfortable atmosphere. So the showcase here has a lot of grey mother of pearl, as you can see. 20 motive, pavé ring, uh, some of the watches as well. And then um, over there, that's the Kelsey Doni 10 motive necklace. And here, this is the sweet pearly items. These are, sorry, and um, they are really bling. My Katia as I brought over my ring, by the way. She was really nice, really nice of her to do so. Um, So here I'm trying on the sweet Alhambra size versus the vintage size for the onyx earring. So I don't think I'll be getting sweet. I think it's really too small um, and the vintage size is probably the right size for me for an everyday earring. But the black and gold combination is really really pretty and outstanding. However, since I have my Dior Onyx earrings, I'll probably get Mother of Pearl or maybe Gioche or even Hammered Gold because that can go with every um, color. And so here I tried on the Sweet Pearly Ring. It's really bling, very pretty. It looks so much better in person than in um, videos or photos uh, because I think of the workmanship. Of course, the bracelet as well. So the bracelet is almost almost twice the price of the ring. Uh, but it's definitely a substantial piece even though it has been kind of sized down from the original pearly um, bracelet and ring size so just admiring the lovely bling and this is rose gold by the way even though it looks kind of yellow gold here because of the lighting i think If you're considering this, I think you should definitely go and try it on because they do look much better in person, in my opinion at least. So um, I don't think I'll be getting this for now because it is pretty expensive, so we'll see. So these were the favorite things I tried on um, today. Also looked at the Frivo necklaces and on the right hand side, that's the Lotus. Uh, necklace which i've put it where i put a picture here for a closer look and then here i tried on the one flower ring from the freevo collection definitely bling a statement ring and this is in yellow gold by the way so here's the um carnelian alhambra ring with a diamond in the middle and this is the sweet alhambra uh, ring actually uh, very cute with the hearts and here are some more pretty Alhambra pieces. Pave, um, the turquoise butterfly, carnelian earrings, and blue agate bracelet that I'm still thinking of until now. Here are the limited edition pieces, guys. Uh, these are the carnelian and rose gold Gioche new release that was literally just launched on September 1st. So there's a 10 motive necklace, a 5 motive bracelet, and earrings, of course. But because I already have my carnelian bracelet, I probably won't be getting these. Um, here I went to Pavilion Hotel actually with my essay, um, my dear essay Datin Angie. So she took me for a very nice early dinner. Here just showing you guys my outfit, um, very simple with a tall skirt and just a Zara top. And also um, my ABC Dior of course in dusty pink and my usual stack uh, with my carnelian bracelet. The small JUC in rose gold and also mother of pearl from Dior Rose Devon and the ring as well. Very nice uh, ambience here. We got a um, private room in the Chinese restaurant. It's called the Jade Pavilion. So the food was really, really good as well, actually. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. It got a bit of salt. Oh. Nice. Apple, is it? Apple and orange mix. Oh, I haven't eaten outside at all. But I don't know. Do you want me to set up the 
Uh, yes, this. Yes, this. Uh, just take. Uh, okay, yeah, thank I you. Malay, oh. Hi guys, this is the first time I've been. <coughs> I eat. I'm eating out since like I think four months. So. I'm really super happy now. I feel like less stress and I can like deal with the work, my work life better. Now that you know I've had this little break and I bought myself a little something. So here I am again showing you pictures of what I tried on. Um, and also I'm still really thinking which earrings to buy. I'm really leaning towards Giyoshi or Hammered Gold. So here I actually earlier on I tried on the two motif Pave and Onyx but I think I'm more in the market for a daily piece and this, uh, these are the pearly hoops which are really bling and um, quite expensive as well so here I tried on the Giyoshi earrings they're just the right amount of bling and hi everyone welcome to today's me. video so uh, hopefully you like the eye candy I was showing earlier in um, the first part of this uh, video so I was at uh, Van Cleef after quite a long time of you know um, because Malaysia had lockdowns and so I finally went to see my essay at Van Cleef you know on an uh, impromptu unplanned trip where I also stopped by Cartier and I got my um, small JUC ring in rose gold that I have another video on for the unboxing and Cartier shopping vlog so if you're new to my channel my channel uh, focuses on girly stuff of course and as you can guess and um, basically a lot of handbags, um, skincare, makeup, jewelry, um, and outfit ideas. So that's where I want to share my thoughts. And if I find anything good, I usually share my honest, honest, I mean, I totally share my honest reviews. So I'd just like to quickly show you what I have on my channel. So please do take a look. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and also um, follow me on Instagram if you like. Uh, that's where I share a lot of the um, stuff that I find on a more, I guess, immediate basis and also just pretty pictures of uh, pretty things. So for today, um, this is really uh, where I, uh, I actually tried on quite a few things in Van Cleef as usual because my essay is just so kind, like sometimes I cannot make up my mind. And as you know, I've been buying Dior <coughs> and recently just got into Cartier. But uh, Van Cleef still holds a very special place in my heart because um, my Carnelian 5 motif is my very first piece of de designer fine jewelry. And I had a very good experience shopping at Van Cleef with my essay. Uh, Datin NG and so I also got this um, sweet butterfly Alhambra which is great for layering although I know it is pretty small you know um, but I think it's still cute on its own or you can have it with other necklaces for layering so you know based on my own analysis I really feel like I should be getting a pair of earrings um, from Van Cleef uh, I do have a pair of uh, Dior hoop earrings so I'll show you a picture of me wearing it uh, that I love which is in onyx and rose gold but I also want like something like a single motif um, Alhambra which I think is very classic and can you know you can basically wear any time and any age um, <clears throat> so I still have not decided if I should get onyx mother of pearl or just Giyoshi because <clears throat> Obviously, Giyoshi goes with every single thing, I mean, unless you're wearing white gold a lot. So because it's not a colored stone, but at the same time, Mother of Pearl uh, is very lustrous, the ones that VCA uses and um, use, and they actually would definitely, I think, bring a glow to your face because uh, the earrings are worn near your, I mean, obviously near your face, right? And uh, however, the onyx is also very outstanding because combination of black and gold is just classic. It's just very eye-catching, etc. And um, so I'm seriously considering that as well. So, you know, now I'm just trying to like share my thoughts and also wish listing at the same time. So, um, <clears throat> but as you all can guess, Holiday Pendant is coming out soon. So I might prioritize that depending on what stone the Holiday Pendant is. So what's special about the Holiday Pendant is of course um, the design where the um, our vintage Alhambra size usually and there is a little diamond in the middle. So that's um, the apps adds a pop of shine. Um, and also <clears throat> is obviously in limited quantities so it is something of a collector's item and especially if you like the stone um, definitely 
um, I think most people would buy it if they love the stone like VCA lovers so I don't own a holiday pendant yet because I just got into VCA like beginning of this year so I'm totally going to see what stone it is if it is a stone that I like I just love blue stones <clears throat> I don't think they'll be doing blue agate. I really, but actually nobody knows. But if they do a chalcedony, uh, one which they have in white gold now in the classic collection, I will seriously consider getting it because the holiday pendant is also obviously sold at a premium compared to the vintage Alhambra regular pendants. But that's also because it has a tiny little diamond. And um, if not, if I'm not getting a holiday pendant, it's highly likely that I will get a pair of earrings. So. It could be the onyx because at least they have that in stock in Malaysia or I could wait a couple of weeks and get the um, Gyoshe ones which I've shown a picture of me wearing and they are very bling and obviously they will go with everything because it's um, just yellow gold and they're slightly pricier than the stone ones um, but I think they might be worth it especially if I think I'm only getting one pair of uh, VCA Alhambra earrings so yep that's on my list of things to get this year uh, october is my birthday month so definitely i want to get something from van cleef uh, for my birthday i just love um the vibes at van cleef and obviously i'm um, dealing with my essay she took me on, on a very nice dinner as you can see from my earlier um the earlier part of this video so and yeah and also the limited edition rose gold Kyoshe and carnelian, the 20 motif necklace, the 5 motif bracelet, and the 2 motif earrings. So um, I guess luckily for me, I have my carnelian 5 motifs, so I'm not intending to get the limited edition pieces, but it's still nice to look at eye candy. So I'll probably need to wait until the end of September before I know if I'm getting holiday pendant or um, earrings because I think news of the holiday pendant stone will be out in um, early October or end September so I'll keep everyone updated so do share your thoughts if you think you know you would rather get the holiday pendant or a pair of classic earrings from VCA that you can wear forever um, another thing to note also for me is that pendants sometimes get a little bit uh, uncomfortable because it's hot in Malaysia and maybe I'm just not used to wearing like necklaces but earrings I'm okay and um, I love changing um, my earrings and I think <clears throat> earrings would be easier to take care of as in because it doesn't really touches it doesn't really touch like you know um it, obviously your ears don't really get sweaty etc you know if you get my drift so it should be um subject to less wear and tear but we'll see right we really need to see what the holiday pendant is and then i'll finally decide to get the earrings first or a pendant first so um i'll talk to you really soon guys i love to hear your comments and your thoughts and what you're looking at uh, at vca what you're eyeing on or, you know or if you want to share any intel or opinions totally welcome so um oh and before i go the last thing the thing that i tried her lace sweet clover that is really really bling and super pretty everything at vca even cartier all look better in person so you really should try it out if you have a store nearby um, but let me just I can kind of guarantee that whatever you see in real life at VCA would look much better than on the website in any pictures um, videos that you can find because the workmanship is just superb and it's just very very fine hence <clears throat> the premium pricing even if you know there are no diamonds it is just super pretty shiny elegant very luxurious but in a quiet way so that's why I like uh, Van Cleef and also of course super feminine um, and <clears throat> it's very classy it just goes with everything so um, yeah uh, I can't wait to report back what I finally get in my birthday month but meanwhile I hope you enjoy today's video of try-ons and some eye candy for you guys and so I'll talk to you really soon take care bye